हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड रिसेंटली आई हैव डेवलप्ड टू चैटबोर्ड ऑन टेलीग्राम यूजिंग ओपन एआई एपीआईज दिस चैटबोर्ड द फर्स्ट इज आस्क मी एनीथिंग हियर यू कैन आस्क एनीथिंग एंड द बोट विल रिप्लाई यूजिंग ओपन एआई एपीआईज द सेकंड इज द वन वेयर यू प्रोवाइड अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ अ पिक्चर and it will generate a picture and send it back to you also these both chatbot has some menu so when you click on a menu button it will reply according to the uh, button clicked and recently i have posted a video of the same on my youtube channel and uh, the viewers of my channel uh, has been asking a question that how they can replicate the same work for their own chatbot so in this video i will show you how you can replicate the work i have built on your own uh, things so let's get started so i have created two repositories telegram bot python this is for uh, ask me anything where user will uh, write a query and open api will generate a response for that uh, the second one is telegram bot text to image here a user will provide a prompt and open ai will generate an image and the bot will reply with that image so in this video i will uh, demonstrate how you replicate telegram bot text to image uh, but the same step will be applicable to a uh, telegram bot that is for uh, text so let's get started uh you need these things before we move to the code section uh, open ai api key uh, then uh, telegram bot api key if you want to generate uh, or you can say create telegram bot then you can watch one of my video here i'll show you how you can uh, create uh, your own telegram bot step by step and all the links will be in the description of the video as well uh the third part is mongodb url so you can create a mongodb atlas account and from the connection section you can find the mongodb url as well uh in case you don't want to save any messages to mongodb then you can skip this step and in the code section i'll walk you through how to uh, skip this step Uh, the fourth thing you will need is a kind of a api testing mechanism or application like postman or insomenia in this uh, tutorial i'll show or i'll use insomenia uh, the next thing is nzrock for exposing our local host to internet uh, you can download nzrock and start your nzrock engine as well so once you have these things then you can copy the repository on your local machine by click on this code button either you clone it or download as a zip if you do so please consider giving a star to this repository it helps now i have cloned the repository on my local machine now what i'll do is that first i need to create a .env file now this .env file consist of these few things first is your telegram bot api token uh, second header token so this header token is for security purpose so that any request coming on our server must have this secret header token otherwise it will be rejected uh, the third thing is open ai api key uh, this me is your telegram uh, id so that in case something fails on this chatbot you will be notified a uh, connection string for mongodb a db name and collection name you don't have to create the db and collection uh, it will be automatically created you just need to provide mongodb url uh, db name and collection name so once you set this .env file what you need to do is that first you need to create a virtual environment i'll use python hyphen m for module venv 
and my virtual environment name is venv so this will create a virtual environment like this uh, you need to activate the virtual environment in my case of linux it's uh, venv bin and activate but if you are using windows then i think it's a uh, uh, venv scripts and activate once you activate your virtual environment you need to install all the uh, dependencies so i'll use python uh, pip install hyphen r for requirement file and provide the requirements.txt file it will install all the required packages uh, this is a kind of uh, warning that the pip version you are using is uh, deprecated or it has some updates you can run this command to update the pip version but it's not necessary once you do that you need to run python run.py file this will start the server so let me click on the server as well so you can see that server is started and we see all is well response once uh, local server is started you can create a new terminal and start ngrock on the port 5000 since you are uh, since you can see on my local host python side i have port 5000 but if you have a different port make sure you use the same port and i'll click on this link just to verify that everything works so yeah we see all is well response so everything works uh, the first thing i'll do is that i'll go to uh, my uh, api testing mechanism here i'll go to uh, this test webhook it's a post request uh, the post request will be on uh, this local host so we will be making a post request on this local host set telegram webhook with the url which is our ngrock url followed by telegram and a secret token this can be any secret string so whenever telegram will request with a new message on our webhook uh, it will pass this as well so before we do this let me walk you through the code section we have a run file which is a kind of a starting point of the application then we have this app.py file this has three route one is telegram here telegram will send its request uh, set telegram webhook this will set the webhook for telegram uh, set telegram menu commands this will set menu commands on telegram and on the outside uh, apis folder we have one uh, file for all database communication so in case you don't want to do any database communication then on the app.py file you'll see i have used only once uh, save message to db you can comment this file and you can get rid of the whole database setup thing uh, the next file is open ai pi file so here i have one function generate image so it will take a prompt and it will make a request to open ai server and get the response uh, as in form of url now the next is telegram api so i have created this telegram api uh, wrapper functions so we have a send message it will send a message to a chat id uh, send photo it will send a photo to the telegram chat id uh, set webhook this will set the webhook and set menu commands so this will set the menu commands uh, i have one helper function as well utils.py so this has two functions one uh, process the request so any incoming request from telegram will be processed here and it will generate uh, an object this is used on app.py and then there is a generate response so based on the menu commands if a menu command is clicked then it will generate a response otherwise 
if uh, the prompt has less than four words then i'll say that uh, please you know add more words to the prompt so that you can have a better result and if everything goes right then it will go to generate image and provide the prompt and generate the image and send back the url so this is kind of uh, all the functions and all the things on the code side so let's first uh, set the webhook so for the webhook we will call set telegram webhook and provide the url which is our ngrock url and secret token is a string uh, so let me uh, click send yeah so we uh, got the response okay so that means if i go here and go to this generate image from text if i click on anything the response is coming from my local webhook you can see that okay uh, let me try uh, draw a pencil drawing of a horse flying let me send this you can see we should have oh we don't see it here but we have got uh, the request here it will generate a response and send it back to the user you can see we have 200 status and if i go to my uh, telegram you can see we have got the image as well so i think everything works uh, okay so the next step is to uh, stop these things and deploy the server on any free hosting like for example you can deploy it on render i myself have deployed many application on render as well and in order to learn that you can watch one of my video how to deploy python application on render and the link is in the description as well uh, there is one last thing as well i want to show that is set test uh, sorry test set command uh, request so here what you can do is that uh, uh, just let me copy this local host so you can send a local host request on the route set telegram menu commands and this will take command uh, is an array with objects uh, which has keys command and description command will be a command uh, like this okay and description is the description which you see here so when you see here buy coffee is a command and buy me a coffee is the description of that command uh, once you are satisfied with the command you want you can send this and it will set the commands as well so i think uh, this is it from this part of the video in case if you face any issues please write it down in the comment section i'll try to get back to you and provide the solution if i know it and if you again if you download the code from my github repository please consider giving it a star on both the repository uh, the working of both the repository is same uh, there is no difference uh, whatever repository you choose you can use it and follow the steps shown in this video in order to make your port running so i think this is it from this part of the video if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace